What's up guys, my name is Kim Bafkas, welcome to my video, I've got a NBA offline association game here for you guys and uh, I'm just quickly showing you my lineup uh, as of recording this um, and what I'm trying to get out of this team uh, is basically uh, a scoring offensive team uh, but at the same time trying to keep uh, the, uh, the defense and uh, trying to get the rebound so I've managed to get some pretty lucky trades here. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, let's get it started. Got uh, Carlos Boozer there at the uh, the tip, and uh, I did trade. A f I've traded uh, Pierce and Rondo. I traded Pierce because I feel like he, uh, as much as I love Pierce, he was uh, is uh, too slow. Because, uh, you know, old age does that to you. And um, uh, I don't... I feel like I could have gotten a a, uh, pow like a more powerful, more faster small forward than Pierce. And uh, I found that in uh, Richardson there. I've picked him up as a, uh, as a uh, free agent, I'm pretty sure. And uh, he f he's doing great. And... Um, I traded Rondo because I basically, because although he was good at stealing and all of that, and he's a great point guard, um, as Boozer hits the nice little lean back jumper, uh, I wanted a point guard that can score at the same time. And um, so while trading, uh, uh, Rond looking for a trade for Rondo, I managed to, to find uh, uh, Curry there. And um, so I managed to pick him up. And. I managed to trade Avery Bradley and uh, Jeff Green, I think, and maybe one more person. I managed to get back Ray Allen, so I was pretty happy with that because you know you've got to have uh, that shooting guard, and um, I feel like Ray Allen still still got it, obviously. And uh, I decided to keep Garnett being my favourite player, and uh, as he demonstrates here, he's he's still a beast, and uh, he still gets the blocks and he still gets the rebounds. And uh, as for the uh, center, you know, just wanted that uh, defensive pressure with the rebounding. Um, as of the time of me recording this commentary, uh, my team has actually changed quite a bit. Uh, a few players um, aren't here, and I've picked up a few others. Um, so I'll put, I'll record another video of that if you guys enjoy this one. Um, because at the moment I am not going to probably be able to get much uh, online association um, because it really comes down to um, the person being online for me to be able to play it. And uh, John Barry, in case you guys don't know, is off of one of the old uh, Lakers teams. I can't remember which year they're from. I think it's from one of the 80s, or no, I reckon it was one of the 90s. 80s or 90s teams. Um, it was uh, one of the ones. It was the one with uh, Shaq on it. So you Lakers fans might might be able to help me on that one. Um, basically, it was one of the years that Shaq was with the Lakers, and uh, John Barry was was there uh, alongside him and Kobe. As uh, as uh, I think that was Tyson Chandler. No. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, because he uh, slams it down. And uh, John Lucas, in my opinion, is so underrated. Uh, especially in... I don't really know too much of him in actual, you know, real life. But as far as NBA 2K13 goes, he is really underrated because he is a great point guard. Um, he can he can get the steals, he can get the three-point shots, as, you, as you'll see a couple times in this video. And um, he was... He's overall just a great, great player, and uh, quite often I'll get the uh, the buzzer beater with him, uh, as I think I I think I do here. I'm not too sure. No, I go to Raja Bell. Um, so yeah, as I said, I I have gotten rid of a couple players and I have gotten a few players back. Um, so at the moment I'm quite happy with my my team. I do want to trade a couple of them, try and get better players. Um, so I'm trying to work on that, but at this stage I'm not not really having any luck. 
And um, so yeah, that's pretty much about my team. As I said, I just want to try and uh, keep that uh, as Blake Griffin dominates. You know, that was just yeah. I had to put that in. That was just too good. And um, with the scoring, I basically wanted I wanted players that can uh, drive into the ring uh, to the rim like that and uh, get the easy two points. But I also wanted uh, shooters who can uh, easily shoot the three-point shot as uh, DeAndre Jordan uh, destroys the rim. And uh, I think I have that so far. I, I have traded Raja Bell for someone. I traded him and someone else, and I think I've got someone else there to fill in for uh, for shooting guard. I think he's been playing. And uh, I also traded John Barry for someone else as well. And uh, since recording this, I actually traded, I think I traded, I wanted to try a few things up because Boozer wasn't doing as well as he started off as, so I think I traded Boozer for um, Andrew Bogut because at that point I was looking for, I was basically looking for younger players, try and get those young players in, in uh, you know, fast young players. And uh, so I got Angie Bogut for a while and ended up actually trading him for someone else as well. As uh, Raja Bell gets the uh, the steal and the slam. And um, so, yeah, as I said, at the moment I'm quite happy with the team because they've got that scoring ability uh, from driving in and also from the three-point line. Um, unfortunately, it, it didn't, you know, spoiler alert, it didn't pay off very well for me in this game. I did actually end up losing the game um, because unlike my career, I'm actually playing on, uh, see, John Lucas, unbelievable. Uh, I, I guarantee it, try him out and uh, most of the time he won't let you down. Um, Garnett dominating as usual. <laughs> Uh, that's why I still. That's why I decided to keep him. Raja Bell gets the block. See that defensive pressure gets the block. I almost lose it there. And um, uh, once again, John Lucas gets around uh, Chris Paul. And uh, I am currently working on making Richardson and. Uh, uh, he's not in there at the moment, but another player, Gladness. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't really pick the names. <laughs> but I am trying to work them up. Oh, no, yeah, there he is. I am trying to work um, work them up and try and make them better. Um, because the potential for them is uh, pretty good. So I'm trying to work them up into work them up and build them into, uh, into great players. And uh, it's going really well so far, especially for Richardson. Uh, easier for him being uh, my starting small forward at the moment. Uh, as for Gladness, not so much because he's not the starter. So he doesn't really get too much uh, too much uh, time in the, uh, in the games. So uh, yeah, 19 seconds to go and I'm down by 7. And I can't manage to pull off the, uh, the comeback. Unfortunately, but I wanted to uh, put this game up anyway just to show you guys... Um, uh, because, well, in, in my point of view, this was a great game, especially to play. Um, the Lakers are always a, a great and hard team to uh, to play against, uh, especially with that uh, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan in the in the uh, in the post, and then matching that with CP3 uh, is just ridiculous. So here's the final box score. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, and I'm hoping uh, to eventually get more of these out, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.